With these triple digit temperatures we're seeing, people are really doing anything mm. possible to stay yeah. cool. Like maybe even going to get ice cream for dinner. Not a bad deal. <laughs> Riley Birdwell went out to Loblolly in Little Rock. She talked to people out there in Raleigh. I'm sure that sales through the roof. <laughs> Absolutely, Bob. The manager here at Loblolly says that they always have record sales when they see these types of temperatures and lines out the door. Now, there were plenty of people there, and if you're like me and you have a sweet tooth, there is nothing like ice cream on a hot day. Milkshakes blended up with whipped cream on top. Thank you so much. And ice cream scoops handed out to those coming in for a sweet treat to beat the heat. Yeah, hot. <laughs> Marshall came in with his family to grab some ice cream in the triple digits with many flavors to choose from. If I would control the weather, I would think it was. Hmm. Um, somewhere near 95 and. 203. So did other families like Candace Anderson and her crew. It's too hot to cook. It's too hot to, you know, eat like soup or anything. Like you really want something cold that's going to be refreshing. So it's the perfect time to have like ice cream for dinner. Lucinda McGoldrick is the manager at Loblolly Ice Cream and she says during the summer, sales skyrocket. Definitely July is always our biggest month and we are jam packed, uh, line out the door for most of July, most of the summer. Uh, school's back so we've slowed down a little bit but it's still pretty high for an off season. I try a lot of flavors. And as they indulge in the frozen treat that is sugary and sweet, they all say they are glad to have something to combat the heat. How's the ice cream? The heat's good. No, I can say that I definitely indulged in ice cream for dinner as well because it's 10 o'clock at night and it's still very toasty outside. Reporting live in Little Rock, I'm Riley Birdwell. Back to you guys.